Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to talk about the Smonet SR5 automatic skimmer robot. So this thing has been in my pool for, I don't know, three weeks now or so. Um, I really like it. I think it's solid. It hasn't really been put too much to a test because we don't get a ton of stuff in the pool. You can see there's some trees around but we're not like dropping big leaves or anything. We've had a few, but basically all I do in terms of uh, like pool cleaning maintenance, I guess, is I run that all the time. It just lives in the pool. It has a solar panel on top that charges it. So it literally just runs. And then I, I don't know at what point it cuts off, but it charges and runs at the same time. And then it, when it's out of battery, it'll stop and just take solar energy and it'll do that until it's at 80 percent and then it'll just start running again and it'll just rinse and repeat and once you get into weather like now where it's um you know it's warm enough it's sunny enough every day it pretty much doesn't need to be charged uh manually when i first put it in a couple weeks ago it was like 60s or 70s maybe and we had a lot of rain so i had to charge it a few times i'd bring it in charge it put it in the pool and then a day or two later i'd have to bring it back in and charge it but for the last two weeks i would say it's literally just been floating around the pool doing its job and uh, i think that's pretty cool because it's very low maintenance you just gotta empty it every once in a while but anyway i have that in and then i have a um I have a Ybot S1 robot vacuum that cleans the bottom and occasionally I'll have it do the walls or I'll just get in with a brush and do that myself. Um, but it's been very, very easy to take care of the pool so far this way. So I'm going to go grab them and uh, I'll show you uh, what it looks like and everything. I guess we could do it up on the deck. Oh, this guy's mowing out here. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I'll be right back. All right. So you can see this guy here. Hopefully that uh, mower is not too loud for you. Uh, let me actually bring this up and I'll drop the angle down a little bit so we can talk. See if this will hold up here. Nope. Yeah. This will have to do, I guess. So basically, you have a robot that has these little bumpers on it, and those essentially keep it from, you know, destroying anything. And it has those sensors on the front. You see those little eyes? So it'll look and detect for things now i will admit i think it doesn't work as well at night so if you don't have a light in your pool like me which i'm trying to i'm gonna get an electrician out here and install a light over the pool to have on at night i think uh but i'm pretty sure at night it's kind of running blind but basically it uses the sensors and when it detects the wall or a person or the stairs or whatever it starts to turn and it'll either back up or whatever. It'll try to turn out of the way. I was trying to show you over there when I grabbed it. It was going into the wall and then it started just trying to turn to the left. And if I had let it go, it would have just turned to the left and then went that way. Um, it doesn't have any navigation. That's one downside to it. But this thing is not very expensive as robot you know, vacuums and things go. You can get these on Amazon for pretty much 250 bucks. Um, they will say, I'll put a link down below. So if you wanna pick one up, you can use my link. It does help the channel if you do that, but that's totally up to you. Um, but you'll see the price will say like 399 or 379 or 359. But when you click on it, it'll have a little thing that says coupon for $100, coupon for whatever. And when I bought it, it was 399 and it had a $150 coupon, so I paid $250 for it, which is pretty nice for, you know, 
uh, what you're looking at. So, it has, it has the solar panel on top and that's what's charging it. I try to just keep that clean. And then it has a window so you can see what's inside of it. And this would obviously be a lot easier with an in-ground pool. You can, you're gonna be over it a little bit more. Now, here's the thing for me. I can't tell you how good it is at picking up large debris and stuff like that because it's been in my pool for three weeks, but it barely has anything in it because my pool is so kind of clean. It doesn't have a bunch of stuff. So the way this comes out, you just pull on this, make sure it's not hitting the ground, and then it kind of comes down like this. Now I try to just make sure I'm not resting it on the propellers because you don't want to damage that, right? But here's your uh, tray or basket, which is, um, I think, a good size basket. But as you can see, it's been in here for about a week without me emptying it. And there's like just a couple things in here. But if you look at the pool, there's nothing in the pool. So it does its job, I guess. Uh, once, you know, if I get a bunch of stuff in here, I can let you know if something changes, but I've watched other reviews on this and I'm pretty sure it'll pick up whatever ends up in the pool. I just don't have a ton right now. The one thing I want to point out that nobody ever points out in videos that I've seen is this. This came with a little plastic cover for this. And I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a chlorine feeder. So you can actually fit a three inch puck right in here. And then maybe one that has clarifier in it or something. I'm thinking that's what they're thinking. If you had like a chlorine with clarifier puck and then you put the cap over it so it doesn't get junk in it from the skimmer, but it will allow the chlorine to slowly dissolve in the water. So I think that's pretty cool, but I've never seen that pointed out. And it's, I didn't see it in the instructions anywhere either. So it's just kind of like a hidden feature, I guess, but it's real simple to use. I mean, you can see it's got some small debris here as well, um, but you just kind of spray it out. I've had, times where there's been more in here you know a few like mini pine cones and leaves and stuff but it's never been like packed with stuff because i just don't i don't get a lot right now but to put it back in you just got to slide it into the slots down here so it's kind of hard to do on camera slide it in and then it has to pop up at the end here like that and pop in so just make sure you do that last thing Oops. And then on the back, you have these propellers back here and they will just spin. That's what they do. And they're very simple. It doesn't go fast. You can put it in sport mode, um, but I just put it in regular mode and let it do its thing. It's not supposed to go fast. It's supposed to just swim around in there and pick up shit, you know? So super simple product. But it works really well and so far it seems durable it's bigger than you'll think it is when you see it so we can go ahead and put it in i'll turn it on and you guys can get a look at it so putting it in the pool is very simple you literally just drop it in the pool there's nothing special uh, my three-year-old has flipped it over in the pool and left it there upside down for an hour and i just flipped it back over it worked just fine so you can see it's getting a little dirty around the water line here um so you could probably hose it off and clean it every once in a while but so far it seems very sturdy um, so here's your operation button you literally just hold down and it turns on and then you can do it one more time for sport mode now that will clean faster, obviously. If you have a bunch of stuff in, you got people coming or something, you could put it in sport mode to have it clean real fast. It does not have any navigation or anything, so you're not gonna get like some pattern or, it just aimlessly goes around. My pool has uh, circulation from this uh, return, 
so it tends to go around the outside more which i think is good because that's kind of where the stuff ends up between this and the skimmer i pretty much get everything out of this pool which is nice um one other thing to note is you can see this cap down here see i just put it under water doesn't mind um, there's that blue cap you just unscrew that and you plug in and that's how you do the manual charging like i said i haven't had to do that very often um let me just get some water out of here in case i got too much in there here's a look at the bottom so let's just turn her on just hold it down till it kicks on and then the propellers are gonna start and you'll see the light here for solar it means it's charging and that light is for standard mode so you know that it's not in sport mode and then it's literally just gonna let me shrink this tripod down it's literally just gonna mope or, uh, mosey around my pool and uh, pick up pretty much whatever runs into it in front of it it will pick up i can try to test it i really didn't want to like throw a bunch of shit in my pool just to test something out you know seems weird to me but i'm um, like here's a leaf i could try here's a leaf we put that in let's see what happens that's on top of the pool it might get ahead of it so it's coming up to the leaf. It's getting caught on the handle. And it's gone. Where'd it go? Where'd that leaf go? Looks like it sucked it up. It doesn't have any suction. So just to show you, there's no leaf down here. So it must have went in there and uh, sucked it up. So there's no suction on this device. It literally just glides across the water the mouth of it is you know like right under the water and then anything that comes in it just kind of filters the water through right and it'll pick up anything in the way here's a look at how it operates when it runs into something so i find in the daylight it works a lot better you can see how it's kind of reversing its way out it's kind of figuring out that it can't go that way so it's gonna turn and then it's probably just gonna end up going forwards and towards the wall because again no navigation and then it's gonna turn again when it hits that wall and you get the idea um, it has these little green blinking lights on the side I don't know if you can see those like right there and that's kind of an indicator that it's on that helps me recognize when it's on and um, I don't know if that also, I think it just means it's on. I don't think it tells you it's charging or anything, but it kind of just uses those bumpers under the water and the sensors to know, like my hand right now is probably telling it to turn and then it's gonna go the other way. And once it doesn't sense anything, I think it just goes forward and then it'll keep going. And it'll just go around and around. I mean, it works really good. I mean, I've seen this thing in the pool for i don't know i'm pretty sure i've seen it in one day i've seen it going around for like 10 hours it seems like it's just on all the time as long as it has sun it will uh run during the day and then it usually has enough charge to run around a little bit at night and then it probably just waits till morning soaks up sun hits 80 percent, and then it takes off and then it'll end up probably at 100% throughout the day because the sun is just beating down on it usually, you know? So there you go, guys. That's a look at the Smonet SR5 automatic pool skimmer. Let me know what you guys think of that one. I really like it. I thought it was gonna be sort of a gimmicky thing. I just kind of, I thought it was cool. So I was gonna get one. Um, but so far it's, uh, it's worked really well. And again, it hasn't been through a ton of uh, work so I can't tell you it's like great for a super messy pool but uh, I'm about ready to get in this pool so I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna do a video on this guy over here the uh, Ybot S1 uh, pool vacuum that I bought and uh, I'll probably do that one next so if you're interested 
stay tuned. I really love that thing as well. And uh, that's it, guys. I love you, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.